Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ray, that's Koji, and today we're going to introduce a new series called Worth It, where I review some of the hottest items releasing for the One Piece card game. And for inaugural episode, we're going to look at the new One Piece Luffy playmat to see if it's worth it. And as always, what's a Koji video without a giveaway? So for this video, I'm going to give be giving away one Japanese OP03 Kree card. So if you are in the Southeast Asian region or if you just like collecting the cards and you just want a piece of it, this would be a great addition to your collection. And all you have to do, guys, is to make sure you hit like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. I will post the winner next Saturday. All right, now without further ado, guys, let's go check out the Luffy playmat. All right, before we open up the box for, to see the play uh, the playmat inside, let's go check out the outer coverings because. Ladies and gentlemen, look at the box. It looks absolutely gorgeous. So the box comes in actually Japanese writing, which is super, super interesting. You can see Toei. Look at that. Toei certified. That's pretty awesome. Uh, awesome. It just says here, Toei Animation Certificate of License Grant. Always uh, nice to see that it's officially endorsed by Toei. And uh, yeah, it is so interesting that the uh, the packaging in the English release is still Japanese. I bought it from my LGS up here in Canada. So yeah, from their distributor, this is definitely the way that they got it. So yeah, so this is Luffy in the front. Obviously the playmat is uh, Luffy in his film version. If you play film Luffy, you are definitely well aware of this card. And yeah, let's go uh, crack this baby open and uh, check the mat inside. All right, so rolling out the mat, this is what it looks like. And there you go. I'm gonna move Koji out for a while just because this mat is pretty big and let's go appreciate it in all its glory. So first, let's go talk about the price. This mat is being sold for 35? Let me double check. Yeah, so this mat is being sold for 35 US dollars which you, if you would compare to some of the other play mats that is uh, currently available um, for the official release, we have the play mats that has the storage box and that costs 40 US dollars. And you have the 25th anniversary edition with the deck box and that is about 43 US dollars. So I feel that if you are just interested in just the mat this is a pretty good deal and obviously it's a little bit more expensive than some of the mats you might see in ebay or amazon or third-party places such as facebook marketplace but if you are looking for some of uh official license especially since this product is endorsed by toei uh yeah this is gonna be a good option for you all right let's go now open this up from the plastic packaging and yeah let's go appreciate the artwork so let's first check out this amazing artwork
So one of the things that you will immediately notice about this playmat compared to other official playmat is that this playmat is officially designated for play. You can see with all of different sections. So this is for your life area. Uh, you can see here, this is going to be for your dons. This is going to be where your deck is. And if you look at here, this is going to be your trash. And yeah, one of the things that I love and why I wanted to get this compared to the other playmat is one, it's a little bit bigger than the uh, other official playmats. I believe that the Yamato one and the 25th anniversary one is substantially smaller than this one the, from a lot of the feedback I have got. So if you are looking to play, this playmat is definitely the way to go. And yeah, you cannot get mad with this amazing artwork. The quality looks absolutely sublime. And one of the things that I notice is that it actually looks like it's been painted the way that Luffy is colorized in this playmat. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And if, for me anyway, it's well worth it. And it's the quality is just amazing, guys. I can't recommend it um, enough. All right, so you might be wondering, what does it look like once you put all of your cards? Well. Let's go check it out. All right, so this is what it typically looks like if you're gonna be using this playmat in your locals or online regionals. As you can see, there are a lot of spaces to actually use and um, you don't feel so cramped in actually using this mat. Um, so yeah, you can easily move the dons to your characters, attach, and you don't feel like you are super cramped you have more than enough space to be creative in where you can put your characters and yeah so this is what it typically looks like if i'm going to be playing in my locals you know you have my characters here ready to attack you have my leaders on the side you have my deck and my trash as well as my life and as you can see, there are more than enough space on the character side to put up to five characters and you don't feel cramped or you feel like you don't have enough space. In the bottom, you can have 10 dons uh, in here, no problem. You can even put your leader a little bit lower. If you want a little bit more space up top, I usually put it around here. But yeah, so this is what the playmat looks like with a deck or in uh, use what it typically will be used uh, look like if you're gonna be using it for play and yeah comment down below guys if you feel like this is enough space for you if you're gonna be using this mat and yeah I think overall I feel that this mat is for sure worth it for 35 us dollars you can get a little bit cheaper if you buy it on um i guess if you buy it at uh, facebook marketplace however uh, honestly some of the prices i've seen from ebay or amazon is very close to here it's maybe you save five us dollars or even less because uh it takes a lot of effort to make these mats and you get to ship it so so yeah i feel that it's worth it some of the pros that i found with this mat is one the artwork the artwork looks absolutely amazing i love it luffy who hates luffy uh i love the little watercolor uh painting style that luffy has i feel that that looks absolutely amazing rather than it's just printed obviously it's printed However, the artwork makes it so that it's less obvious. I like that it has the zones for um, playing. So you have the life, you have the dance, you have the deck, and you have the trash. I know that some of the unofficial mats have those as well. And I thought that this it is great that this mat has it. Another strength is that it's way bigger or 
you know, it's way bigger than the other mats that the official One Piece card game uh, has. Uh, so, which is great. Um, I also like that it's very, very good quality. One of the things that you need to watch out for when you are ordering some of the third party or off-brand uh, merchandise is that you don't know the quality of the printing available for the mat so you know i've heard or i've seen stories of people ordering that it looks great in person but or in in the pictures that they send but when they receive it on person it actually does not uh, match the quality that they thought they were gonna get i can tell you right now that the uh, play mats uh, quality is great and uh, I know that the quality is going to be consistent through all of the play mats that um, this particular company will provide just because it is licensed by Toei it is an official play mat so that's something that you don't have to worry about some of the cons with this play mat is that I would have loved uh, stitching towards the uh, towards the edge one of the things that is not available for this playmat is the edge of the playmat is not stitched. So over time, you know, with use, you will see that the top layer is going to start curling out. Uh, it's just natural for all of the mats in this type. I wish that it was stitched so that it will maintain its quality for a lot longer just because how amazing looking it is. And... Uh, yeah aside from that i don't really have that much cons with this playmat so far i feel that if you're gonna be a player this is definitely the best playmat to get um it, that is officially licensed um by toei and yeah comment down below guys if you feel that this playmat is worth it and uh yeah if you want to be part of my giveaway for the Krieg Japanese version, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. As always, guys, thank you for watching, and I hope you will have an amazing rest of the week, and I'll see you guys later. Cheers!